I want to take a moment and talk about bows. And anybody that's ever talked to me <laughs> knows my stance on bows. And it's pretty general and, and aligned with the rest of the, the, the Gottwick community. Um, they're just they're just not good and um, the reason why they're not good is they're purely situational um, for example the only reason that bows come into play and that can can help you during battle is is when your wall is up and they only are effective when defending and the reason why is because your bows will immediately attack, attack the opponent as long as your wall sta is, is standing. Once your wall comes down, uh, your bows go back to attacking every other, every other second. And um, that's just not good because it gives the enemy an opportunity to just slaughter everything in its path every second while your bows attack every other second. But when your wall is up, your bows attack every second. And um, this this creates an opportunity. So there, there's several different types of players in the game. And uh, one of them, you know, some of them are rally leads, some of them are rally tanks, some of them are solo traps, and some of them are just, you know, whales that'll just fucking destroy you. Um, it, but what what you want to decide is when you're building your account is what you want to do with it um if you want to be a whale well it's going to cost you a lot of you know a shit ton of money one and and two it's going to be you're going to have to solely focus on getting your account to to the point where you, you know you're almost unstoppable that means maxing out your troops um you know, you, you can only have 15 million in your castle at a time and everything that you create over 15 million are, are just kind of in in hold waiting. So whenever your 15 million die uh, initially that are in your castle defending, then the rest of them are backfilled by your extra. Um, you know, there, there's, there's accounts out there like Savo and shit. They've got like 300 million troops and they're just ridiculous you're, you're not gonna take them at take them down and those are those are those are whale accounts now a whale can depend on many different things right so if i'm on a relatively weak server um like up in the 200s or 250s or you know i think they're up to 300 in servers now um if I'm a hundred million player in one of those servers, I'm somebody. I'm a whale, right? Um, but you know, when you're when you're looking at some of these aged servers where there's there's a lot of um, you know, 1.5 one one billion accounts out there and stuff like that, then then you know, a hundred million ain't shit. That's just a farm to them. Um, so being a whale can mean a, a, a different things, right? And you could quickly go, depending on what server you're on, from being a top elite whale to, you know, just being an average player. Just depends on how much time and money you want to seek in your account. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is 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 bows, right? So bows are purely situational. Do not put bows in your attacking army. And the reason why you don't put bows in your attacking army is because they suck for attacking. And I think I might have a purposefully put some bows in here to show what they did. So in this camp, I put, you know, several bows in there to show you what, what they do. So the army attacked the camp. Camp has walls. So if there was, if they would have had any bowmen in this camp, their bows would have been, would have attacked the entire time, uh, as, as long as as long as their wall stayed up. But as you can see, Ally like Calvary, Calvary, Calvary. You know we're 14 seconds in. 15 seconds, bowmen start attacking. So when you're attacking, 
your bowmen will not start attacking any from anywhere until the 12 to 15 second mark. Um, and even after that, it's not every second. So cavalry, cavalry, well, there's bowmen there, 15. They skip. They usually skip. Well, anyway, every second, oh, there's the 21 mark they skipped. Nope, ally bowmen. But you get my point, right? So bows are not good when attacking. The only time bows are good is when defending. So if you want to make a solo trap, or if you want to make a rally tank, so rally tank means you, you purposefully put your fat ass out there and you wait on people to rally you and you take the rally. Um, and and people are successful at doing that. And and I want to create an account like that. I, I'm going to try and create one like that and test it out. But what you need to do is you got to make sure that you have bows. Um, you know, millions of bows, millions of T2s, um, and 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 you know, a few million T3s, some T4s in there, and you know, you can you can tank a rally relatively easily. Uh, and win favorably because it's not one it's one thing to win a rally but it's another thing to win a rally favorably and favorably means that you lose minimal troops and the count really is not going to make much of a difference because you're going to have t1s t2s t3s um, if you lose only t1s and the attacking army loses a shit ton of t4s well regardless what the report says you won that rally because you you knocked out a shitload of T4s, um, so that that's what that's what a rally tank account is or a solo trap can't account is, is you have a lot of bows and you, you your wall is 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 up for the majority of the time, and you just you just tank it and when you're and when that first rally hits your wall's destroyed it's gone you heal it initially you, you heal it immediately and you get ready for the next one to come and you heal your troops and you get ready to go so that's what a that's what a tank is um, and in order to effectively do that there's quite a few things that you can do so we're going the tower right and you know don't laugh because I don't focus on defense at all but city defense is something this this tree here you want to max out you max this tree out you want to make your wall as strong as you possibly can to give your almost the entire uh, uh, as much opportunity as you can to have them just attack 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 and and weed weed out some of those some of those troops that are coming into your city um, the next one you want is advanced defense you want this one as well and then there is iron defense now iron defense is where the money's at so if you are making a rally tank or a solo trap get the most bang for your buck by this tree right here so you max this tree out this is going to almost guarantee you that your wall will withstand almost any attack for about 15 seconds. So that's 15 full seconds of a 46 second attack. Total attacks only last 46 seconds. Um, that at, So out of 15 seconds, you're not losing anything. The enemy's losing stuff. So for 15 seconds, you're just your bows are just hammering away at that enemy army while they're trying to bring your wall down. Um, you do that, and and chances are you're gonna kill. If you're a good rally tank trap, you're, you're gonna kill a million troops within that 15 seconds. Um, now they may be T3s or some shit, but you're still getting rid of those troops. So when the army actually breaches the wall, that's when hopefully you have the right counters in place where your main army begins to counter and just slices through everything else um, that's how you win a rally favorably so this right here the iron defense is something that you'll want to focus on um, 
another thing that's going to be pivotal when building a rally tank trap account is your commanders. So certain commanders on your wall will defend the city better than others. And what you want to look for when when choosing commanders for your wall is commanders that complement your defending army. So Soren, for example, if you look at their specializations, he offers research speed, advanced fortif advanced defense, which is fortification construction increased by 80%. Well, we're not worried about creating fortifications because that's all this does. We're worried about the fortifications doing damage. So for something a little different. So in this particular situ situation, I would say Soren's a pretty poor choice. So let's look for another one. Uh, Obin. So Obin has stone increased by 100%. Bowman attack, 30%, not bad. His endurance recovery, whatever, that's not helping you in this particular situation. So the only thing that Obin is, is, is really doing for you is the Bowman attack. So let's look for some others. Um, as you can tell, I don't focus on bows very much. So Theon. So Bowman Health, which, meh, you know, it, my, my stance on that is if the attacking army get to your bows, you've already lost the battle. <laughs> and, and lost it miserably at that point. So don't worry about Bowman Health, don't worry about Bowman Defense. But he does offer total attack, which... That's a pretty good choice because you got to think not only is your bowman getting attack getting increased by 15%, your infantry, your spearmen and your and your cavalry are all getting a, getting boosted by 15%. So, I, in this particular situation, I would say Theon is a pretty good choice. Sorry, dogs barking again. So, let's look for some more. Sheila, let's see what Sheila offers. Grain, meh, Bowman attack, uh, and fortification attack. She's not a bad choice either. Uh, let's see what Simon offers. I don't think Simon offers much, but max defense troops. Siege attack reduction, that's a pretty good one. Um, it reduces the attack of the, the army hitting your city by 10% and total attack. So not too bad. Simon's not too bad. Um, crevasse. So crevasse, construction, meh, fortification, defense. Well, that means how many of your fortifications are going to be destroyed during the attack. So, not particularly great because fortifications are pretty much relatively easy to repair and create. It's not like building T4 troops. So even if you have T4, T4 fortifications, they're nowhere near as expensive as T4 troops to create. Uh, and Bowman attack. So not bad, but I would say that there's better choices. Uh, let's look at Alessandre. And we'll call it quits because Robert's terrible. Um, building construction speed, no. Bowman defense, again, you know my stance on Bowman defense and health and then attack. Um, so not so good with El uh, Melisandre, um, but so you want to look at specializations, which we just did. You also want to look at awakening. So awakening is something that they they put into the game that that sort of changes it and it kind of breaks it at a certain point because it's all about now it's it's going to be all about what commanders you have in your army that's awakened 
and what they can do for your attacking army. So, for example, Theon, he's an awakened commander, and let's see what he offers. So, his, his skill as an awakened commander is during a city defense battle, which is what we're looking at, every time, what is that, 3 million allied troops join the battle, total attack is increased by 10%. So if you have a rally coming at you that's at, you know, 3 million or you're being reinforced or you have several million troops in your castle, your attack, your total attack is going to go up by 10%. So he's, he's a good one to have. Um, his hidden ability, uh, well, I don't have... I don't have it. So, but but he his total attack and fortifications and everything goes up by a percentage, and for whatever reason, it doesn't show you what that is, even though it's locked. So, when I unlock him, it will show. So let's look at Crevasse because I know he's unweakened, and he's one of those commanders that's game changing. I think. So, his ability, when awakened, is when your bowmen attack they have a 20% chance of additionally attacking one, t one more time. So that's throughout the entire duration of the match. So as I was saying before, your wall stays can stay up from anywhere from 13 to, to 15 seconds if you have the iron defense tree maxed out. Well, he has a 20% chance of every second that, that your bowmen attack to additionally attack again. So that that's that's huge. So when your bowmen attack, they have a 20% chance of, of of attacking an additional time. So let's just say out of that 15 seconds, your bowmen attack an additional time four times. Well, that's that's a huge amount. That's 15, eight, eight almost 20 times before the enemy the enemy uh, troops even breach your wall and get to your army so for a trap castle or a rally tank castle I would say he's pretty crucial to have if if that's what you're going for on your account um, so if, if you're if you're building that sort of account crevasse I would say would be a, a, a very good one to have on your wall and and fully awakened um, we, we looked at Theon, he would be another good choice because he offers some good things. Um, Obin's not awakened yet. And eventually all of the commanders are going to be awakened. So let's see what Sheila offers when she's awakened. Consumption rate reduced by 50%. Um, I don't. I don't even know what to say. I, I would say Sheila is kind of a waste to get fully awakened. I mean, this would be a benefit. Fortifications attack and bowmen attack. Gathering speed, whatever. We're not too worried about that unless you're a farmer. But um, as far as her ability goes, eh, it's not so good. Alessandre's not awakened. Sabrina, let's, we didn't look at Sabrina before. Let's look at her specializations. She's not, she's not awakened yet though. So, construction speed, research, and training speed. So she's not going to do much for your wall. However, Sabrina is pretty powerful in the training grounds, and uh, rebel leaders as well. So. Um, tuck that in a little bit of information away but um, for defending your wall not so good now she may come out awaken and just shatter the mold it just depends on what kind of skill they're going to give her for it Egbert there's another one we didn't look before so fortification attack increased by 50% um, that's that's really good. Uh, Bowman attack increased by 50% and total defense increased by 15%. Now, Egbert's not awakened yet, but 
I mean, if once they awaken him, because the goal is to awaken every commander, um, he may be who you really, really, really want in a in a rally tank trap castle. Um, so <laughs> maybe start working on him now. If you don't have him at gold, get him to gold. Um, if you don't have his equipment maxed out, get his equipment maxed out. Get ready and start saving your books if this is what you're going for uh, with your account. So when he is fully awakened, you can just bam, start immediately working on him. Because I think Egbert, if you have Egbert, Crevasse, Theon, and then, you know, maybe somebody like Seg, which his, his specializations offer uh, total defense, total attack. Um, I believe Arya is, is similar, total attack, eh, infantry defense, but total attack is really good. Uh, we didn't look at Sansa. Uh, fortification, durability, whatever, and attack and then health. Not sure what she's going to have when she's awakened, but, you know, right now, from what I can tell, if I was making a rally trap castle, I'd go for Theon. I would definitely have Egbert on there, and I would awaken Crevasse um, almost as fast as you possibly can, because... Um, I think he's gonna he's gonna really turn the tide of war here. Now another thing you can do is your dragon skills, right? So when you when you have the advanced raffle tokens and you get three hundred of these pieces, you can purchase these red dragon skills. Now this should be on everybody's radar to do anyway, because your goal should be to to get as many red dragon skills as you possibly can. Now, in this rotation, you can only get health of every troop type, you can only get defense of every troop type, and you can get bowman attack. A bowman attack is the only attack skill that's offered with the advanced dragon raffle tokens uh, in this rotation. All the other, the spear attack, the cav attack, the infantry attack, they're offered in another event, and it usually cost real money to, to, to get those but um, you can save up your advanced skill raffle tokens and purchase the bowman attack one and put it on your dragon so when your castle is attacked your bowman will do additional damage um, and the these skills have a twofold effect so not only do the do do your do your troop type that you purchase it for have in this case this one would be health your your health of your spearmen would be increased by a percentage depending on the the upgraded level the enemy's spearmen will also be decreased by that very same level so there's a twofold effect on these red dragon skills so that's why they make they're made, they're they're so desirable to get now, any veteran player knows that they would never attack with bows because attacking with bows, you, you just don't get as much bang for your buck as if you do with infantry, cavalry, or spearmen. Um, but on the other hand, when you're defending with bows, that's when they shine. Um, I'm more or less, I attack more. Um, if I get hit, I get hit. It doesn't really bother me that much anyway but um, if I get hit I get hit but I'm doing more or less attacks so I'm on the offense when I'm playing my account so I'm gonna make another account that is a rally trap castle and I'm gonna I'm gonna build it with bows and I'm gonna target bows and I'm gonna I'm gonna really you know train the hell out of them and, and, and get it to where I can do as much damage as I possibly can with my bowmen and and uh, and and you know just destroy accounts by by them attacking me and another thing is when you're attacked you don't have fever so you can bubble if you want or if you want to take it don't bubble you know just just 
just bubble it take re just don't bubble and take reinforcements and 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 watch those troops melt away um but if you know savo or you know one of those whale accounts that we that we often see on our server they come and they they plop their ass right down beside your castle eh, you got the opportunity you can make that choice to bubble don't take the hit bubble um so that that's another feature about a rally trap tank castle is um you have the ability to uh bubble whenever you want to because you're never in fever even if you're getting attacked just don't attack people and you'll never get a fever um so that that's my little soapbox on bows um they're they're situational I don't particularly like them because they're that's not my play style not for this particular account but um, I'm gonna try it out and uh, I'll do some more videos on on that on that account when I get it built and, and ready to go and and let you guys decide if that's something that that interests you or not but um, for now it's just me and this account and I'm gonna attack with it and Whenever I get the other account done, then I'll start streaming that one as well. Alright guys, have a good one.